Okay, my favorite aisle of the store is this one. The like toiletries. I find the best stuff on this aisle. Down there, see it's like bathroom stuff. Dollar Tree products you need to organize your entire bathroom and it all matches. Clear soap dispenser. How cute is this? All of these products came in like two other colors. I picked the clear because I just love the way they look. They looked kind of acrylic. They're not acrylic. They're like a plasticky, but they're still super cute. For $1.25 and they're all going to match. That's a big deal, right? Some of us don't have that interior decorator gene that you need to put things together that are not matchy matchy. <laughs> like I want to buy the kit because I can't put things together myself. So if everything's like this clear, I'm good because I'm gonna buy everything. So for $1.25, we're gonna start off with the soap dispenser. Guys, and it doesn't matter that you got it at Dollar Tree, okay? You're gonna be a millionaire following my tips. A dollar and a quarter at a time, we're gonna save it. How much is this gonna cost you on Amazon? First of all, people aren't gonna touch it. If you're not paying for it, it's none of your business. Wait a second, what the hell just happened here? What? <laughs> oh my god. Dollar Tree, I'm about to go on a rant about saving money and it's I because it's Dollar Tree. And I don't know if that was supposed to happen, but it happened and you guys saw it. So it is what it is. You can either unscrew this or <laughs> unscrew this. It's probably easier to unscrew this, right? So you don't have to use the little hole to fill it. Either way, look at that. I think it doesn't matter how much some stuff costs. Now there are some things that do matter to me as far as quality, but cute little things like this, I think as long as they kind of match, it's fine, you know? Like like this is simple, minimalistic. And if you wanna get crazy with it, get soaps that are different colors. Mine's white, so it looks really good with this clear plastic. Let's test the pump just to make sure it's not. Oh no, this is great, you guys. Look at, oh, this is an excellent deal. Somebody pull it up on the Walmart website and let me know how much you're gonna pay for this at Walmart. It's not gonna be a dollar and a quarter. This was totally worth it. Just wait till you see the entire setup. The pump works excellent. So I'm gonna give the soap dispenser five Vivian heads. Toothbrush holder, it matches our soap dispenser. It's clear, it has this really cool pattern on it. It looks chic, clean for your toothbrushes. <gasps> You see what I'm saying? Like, as long as things look clean and nice and simple and chic. Ooh, and it's multi-purpose, multi-use. Check this out. It could be to rinse your mouth out cup. It can be to clean the bathtub, mouthwash, brush your teeth, put the toothbrush to the side, do your mouthwash, rinse this off, put your lid back on, multi-purpose, multi-use. For under $10, your bathroom is gonna look excellent. Basic, but cute, and in the budget. So I'm gonna give the toothbrush holder five Vivian heads. Three compartment organizer. Oh, you need more than one of these. Do it like I do in my bathroom. Like I line them all up and then I put different things in each one. Toothbrushes can fit in here too. One can be for toothbrushes. One can be for makeup brushes. You know where else? For feminine products have all the different sizes, options for the guest bathroom. That way, if one of your girlfriends needs some stuff, you got a cute little section right there for her. She don't have to ask you for nothing. You thought of her. Endless possibilities. Hair ties, bobby pins. I have a million ideas for these. Pins for your desk. Like this is not even just for the bathroom. If you got like three or four of these and lined them up real nicely right in front of your mirror, you have all your stuff right there displayed. That's what I do with my makeup. And I pay way more for those because I got them like at TJ Maxx. And you know their little acrylic stuff at TJ Maxx is still expensive. I think I paid like six or seven dollars per each of these. Yes, they're a nicer acrylic and they're a little bit thicker than these, but this is gonna work for hubby's section of the bathroom, your section of the bathroom, and then the guest bathroom. How organized are you gonna look? You don't gotta spend a lot of money. Can we take this on vacation? I wanna organize everywhere I go. You guys don't understand that I get pleasure from seeing things super organized. Tell me you're not gonna be a super hostess. Absolutely you are. Tell me that's not totally worth a dollar and a quarter. Find them, these are so worth it. I know I said it's just a little basic plastic, but it's actually decent quality. It's not thin. I'm kicking myself for not picking up more than just one because I want to do the whole setup. So I'm going to give this guy five Vivian heads. Vanity organizer. You go to Target for vanity organizers like this, you're going to pay top dollar over there. This one costs a dollar and a quarter. You guys already know this. I do not go down the plus section aisle. I don't turn there. I don't look down that aisle. I don't take a peek. I'm here with a five quarter spending budget. I'm not here to spend $3.05 dollars in that section. Makeup brushes. Cute. Three full-size lipsticks. Maybe a toothpaste in here. Maybe your little cotton squares. 
take off makeup. This is another one like three compartment organizer that you might as well pick a couple of them up. See, these little organizers can go all over the place. Maybe you have a craft room. Quality is the same as this. It's a plastic, but it is not thin. So I'm gonna give the vanity organizer five. Vivian has, look how cute my bathroom is. Who's gonna tell me that's from Dollar Tree? Not one person. Toothbrush and cup holder with suction cups in the back. For your mirror, right? Not in the shower. Are you brushing your teeth in the shower? Do you do that? Somebody let me know what the trick to that is because I would never <laughs> brush my teeth in the shower. I don't know why. I just don't think they go. I would put this on the mirror, right? Right in front of you. You know why I love it? You can make sure that this is secure to your mirror before you hang this up. Sometimes you're hanging this up and this is so heavy that the suction cups don't stick. The trick to the suction cups is that you hang them up before you put something heavy on them. Make sure that they're suctioned on, they're real good. Don't immediately hang five pounds of products on them. They're gonna fall, guaranteed. Give it a few minutes, let it dry just slightly. It's gonna get a good suction and then you can put the heavy stuff on. So that's why I love that it's separated. Here's also what I'm thinking. If you take these suction cups off, put a command strip here. I love me a command strip and they're expensive. It's worth spending the money on a command strip. I'm telling you it is. No headaches, nothing's falling and it won't damage your walls. Listen to me like I'm a spokesperson. That way you can just do your mouthwash, throw it away. And then it has little openings here for toothbrushes and stuff. Maybe a razor. Okay, there's a toothbrush. You can have all this hanging on the mirror. How convenient. This is great for a cruise. So three steps to putting this guy together. First of all, make sure your surface is clean and then you wanna wet your little, you guys know how to do this, right? Wet your little suction cup, voila. Attach these. Oh, I love that. Should I put it on the mirror or should I put it in the shower? Look at this. This was totally worth a dollar and a quarter from Dollar Tree. And obviously it's gonna match the entire collection that we got going here. Now the quality on this one seems even a little thinner than these guys. So I don't know why, maybe because they had to use the budget on the suction cups. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy three Vivian heads. Soap saver. I've seen these before, but I never really thought about what it's for. I think it's so that your soap doesn't melt. Like when you go wash your hands, put the soap down next to the sink. It's not sitting in a puddle of water, like the water drips down underneath. Not a lot of people use this, I don't think. At least nobody I know has a soap saver. Also for your shower, right? It's like, allowing it to air out and it has little holes in it. All the water can drip through. I had not used a soap saver before, but I think I'm gonna start using it now. Now this one is made out of like a flexible plastic. It's not like the same plastic and it is very nice. You see, when you put your soap on it, you see how it lifts the soap? Everybody's bathroom needs this. You know what this would be good for too? A sponge. To let the sponge air dry, right? It'll drip through instead of just sitting in its own yucky bacteria water. Also a great idea. Idea. Simple product, but almost genius. The quality is excellent. So I'm gonna give the genius idea of a soap saver. If you knew about it, you didn't tell me about it. What are you doing? I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. And we're still on theme, it still matches. For these next three, obviously I wasn't paying attention because we have a tall soap dish, the traditional soap dish, and then we have this soap dish. <laughs> you have four to choose from because you also have the soap saver. This is cute because when people come over, boom, soap. We're still on theme, we're still matchy matchy. And everything that I picked up came in a couple different colors. So keep that in mind if you don't like the clear acrylic look like I do. Here are the four options for bars of soap. Mix and match for all the rooms. This one was interesting because I'm like, for what? Why do we have a, a deep soap? Okay, like that. Oh. Also, I think it's gonna save the soap then because it's gonna drip. This can be for all kinds of stuff. <laughs> the good thing about these guys is they have suction cups. These work excellent on glass. If you're having problems with the tile in the shower, put this on the glass. Can we not put a loofah in? Probably not. Loofah will probably get nasty in here, huh? If great ideas are coming to you as I'm speaking, please share them with us in the comments down below because we need to know. What else can we use this for? Can we put smelly potpourri in there? I don't know who uses potpourri, but they might. It could be a potpourri dish, a small one, or a little flavor thing, little melts. In the back of the toilet, like that, get creative. This is not for just one purpose use, no. Now, now this one, I'm not sure. So I need ideas for this one. This one is like a little dish that you can put on the shower. So maybe you can put a lotion on here. If you can get it a good grip, maybe you can put like this, look. It's your cup holder for your mouthwash. You don't want your cups? Fine. A little body wash, a little spritzer. Just make sure it holds good because if this falls in the middle of night, you know, heart attack. Things that wake you up like that, 
ain't good. So just make sure you have a good section, but look how cute this looks. Little miniature stuff in the shower, super cute. Maybe a face wash can go in here. This one's a little flat dish, so you can put all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, you know what? Maybe you put your jewelry on there, right? While you're washing your hands. It's a little jewelry holder, so you don't forget. This one's a jewelry holder too. While you're washing your hands, put your jewelry there. You see what I'm saying? Like endless possibilities. It's not just for what it says on the packaging. We never follow what it suggests. Oh no, we do all kinds of stuff here. Now this is the only one that I can't think of what else we could use it for. I mean, it's deep and it's open and so limited, but give me some ideas. These two guys, thin plastic. Quality is not that great. This, excellent plastic. I already told you about this one, excellent quality. So I'm gonna give the traditional soap dish five Vivian heads. I'm gonna give these guys three Vivian heads. The full sized shower caddy. This was a dollar and a quarter, you guys. This is the jumbo. Now, as you can see, it's not clear. They had run out, like these must go like hotcakes, okay? Look how big this is. Everything is gonna fit on here. So the day I went to pick all these guys up, this guy was only in this like grayish smoky color. They didn't have it in clear. But the next day when I went back, they had it in clear. You do want the smoky color. The smoky color is really cute too. I just wanted everything to match. But look how good this is. Look how giant it is. It has four suction cups in the back because it is massive, okay? Like I said, if you have a glass door, window, whatever in the shower, I'm gonna recommend that you put this in the shower where your glass is. Tile sometimes is tricky unless you're gonna do the command strip trick that I taught y'all, which it would work excellent on this guy. But look at this. It has space for probably your soap, Ugh! cups if needed, soap, Face wash, body wash. I think it even has a space for your toothbrush. And I think it has a spot for your razor. Are you kidding me right now? Look at this. No wonder this guy was practically sold out when I went. Police, let's look it up on Target or Amazon or even Walmart. Let's look it up because I promise you, you cannot get this at any of these stores for a dollar and a quarter. This one is an excellent find. Look how big it is. Everything's gonna fit. You don't want all the individual ones, just get one long one like this. All your stuff is gonna be in the shower with you. Or on a mirror. Listen, this could be for your mirror in your bathroom if you don't wanna put it in the shower. As long as it's on glass, I think it'll stick well. So I'm gonna give the uh, papa of all the shower caddies. I'm gonna give this guy four Vivian heads. The quality's not great, but it's huge. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.